Ugh, Grunderson. I can't believe that accounting troll managed to cut all the odds at Monster High. Yeah, you're telling me. Now I'll never get to show off my stilt skills. Wow! What an entrance! The name's Goliope Jellington, and I'm your freak to chic ringmaster. You want to save the arts here at Monster High? Well, mark your calendars right now, boys and ghouls, because next week we're going to put on the greatest show on Earth. Don't forget, freak to chic, get your chic on. Maybe we can help. We've got talents. I've got my stilts. Oh, I've got something in mind. Some kind of show. Circus, I don't know. Those ghouls are trying to save the arts program with it. And they are going over my head. This is an unauthorized performance on school property. So what do you want the Board of Education to do about it? I want you to shut this down. Stop right this minute! These ghouls are going to great lengths to raise money to save the arts. You must let them perform. But they are breaking the rules. We'll allow your ghouls to proceed, but they only have until midnight tonight. If they cannot raise the funds, the matter will be closed. <laughs> We were gonna perform next week. We're not ready to put on a show tonight. Hey, speak for yourself, Frankie. This V-Line is ready to shine. It's the best I could do, Frankie. The Board of Education was quite final about this. They banged the gavel and everything. Y'all know what they say. The show must go on. I have the utmost confidence in you ghouls. Why don't you show me what you've got? This is going to be Clawsome! They've just finished a crash course in circus skills. Freak de chic. Impressive! Uh, uh, honey, what are you doing? I'm not done yet. Sorry, Frankie. I'm still getting the hang of my marionettes. Honey, look out! Hey! Who put that box there? Crash course, huh? We want to learn. Teach us too, Goliope. The more, the merrier, I guess. We're with only an hour left before our big freak to chic circus spooktacular. We had tried to use our freaky flaws to fundraise to save the arts at Monster High, but it looked like we had failed. So that's it then? You're just gonna give up on the show? Yeah, pretty much. Believe me, Goliope, I thought this was gonna be the greatest show of our unlives. But at midnight tonight, the cuts become permanent. You don't wanna live in a world without art. I've been there. When I lost my circus trunk, I couldn't perform. The world was gray. Nothing made sense. Have you stopped to think about what Monster High will be like without the arts? We have to keep trying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's right. Uh, you almost had it before. The problem is you were all so busy thinking about your own tricks that you forgot that a show takes teamwork. You were so worried about the spotlight, you weren't paying attention to what your other ghoul friends were doing. I understand. This is not just about any one trick. This is about all of us. This is art. This is Freak to Chic. These ghouls are giving you a chance to save the arts at Monster High. Every donation you make using your eye coffin brings us one step closer to our goal. We have until midnight to save the arts. So take it away, ghouls! We've seen enough. <laughs> but, Mr. Grunderson, we still have five more minutes. You'll never make it in time. These cuts are for your own good. What is happening? It's Goliope. This happens when she gets nervous or mad. <laughs> 
Monsters are out there searching for something. But sometimes, when they go looking for it, they find something even better. Welcome to Costa Shrika, home to freaky jungles, exotic animals, and Batsy Claro. Not in my jungle. Athletic, fearless, and fiercely protective of her jungle, Batsy is always ready to protect her Costa Shrikan home. Not only does Batsy have supersonic hearing, her batty echolocation allows her to throw her voice. Somebody's digging up a ghost orchid. Those are endangered. The ghost orchid, an extremely rare and endangered jungle flower. And Batsy just missed the book. What is this plant's final destination? It's going to uh, Monster High. A troll village in Goreway. Meet Stomp, Grunt, and Clobber. Who's up for some troll games? I want to play. And their sister, Kirsty. Kirsty is what you'd call an indoor ghoul. Troll bull. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I want a rematch. Sure, Kirsty. Mmm, dead fast! The video game! You think you can beat us at video games? And I win! I'll beat you! And I win again! Check me out! Number one in the whole world! Your troll ham of 530? Nobody has ever beat your score! I know! <laughs> Want to play again? What? Who is beating me? Miss Deadfast. Looks like I'm going to Monster High to take back my title. Easy Dawn Dancer. She lives in Boo, Hexaco. Easy loves performing the old dance of her people. Easy's family has the power to have visions. Hey, uh, come back. I had a vision. There was a place called Monster High. You must go to this place, E.C. No, I can't leave the family. Following your vision is the only way to find what it means. You must go to this monster high. But first, one more family dance. Three ghouls searching for something. A rare plant, a daunting challenge, and a mysterious meaning. Will they find what they're looking for at Monster High, or will they find something even better? This is the story of how three new ghouls joined the Monster High Exchange program. Batsy is searching for an endangered flower that was taken from her home in Costa Shrika. Avid gamer Kirsty is on a mission to find the ghoul that beat her high score. And a vision brought Easy to Monster High, and she's here to find out why. The ghost orchid! All right, you pesky plant poacher! I'm taking that ghost orchid back to Costa Rica. We can do this the easy way. Uh, 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 or that way. Miss Deadfast, I presume. Uh, the name's Kirsty, but you probably know me as Trollhammer530. You beat my high score, and I'm calling you out. One more game? I win! Why did you bring me to this place?
beautiful, isn't it? And it's coming back home with me. Do you even have any idea how many ghost orchids are left in the world? 37. Okay, didn't see that coming. I'm working on a new plant food that should triple the ghost orchid's pollination so it doesn't go extinct. That ghost orchid is staying here at Monster High. And so am I. <laughs> Rock and true. You're so good. Want to play something else? <sighs> now tell me, why am I here? They're dancing. Ooh, they're trying to dance. You're doing it wrong and messing up my routine. Ugh, this new dance is not working. I can show you a dance. Where did you learn to move like that? From my family. My name is EC Dawn Dancer, and I just figured out why I'm here. Three very different ghouls. They not only found what they were looking for, but they each found something they didn't know they wanted. Batsy was looking for a plant, but instead she found an ally. Kirsty thought she came to defend her title, but what she really found was a friend. And Easy's vision guided her away from her family in order to pass along a special part of her culture to others. Uh, did you just see, uh... Nah, couldn't be. <laughs> What in the name of all that is dead and moldy? This is decomposition class, not some ice cream social in which to party down. You have no idea how lucky you are to go to a school like Monster High. But we do appreciate our school. We were... Enough! As punishment, you are all to fried essays explaining why you think you belong at Monster High. And remember, I don't give A's. Well, I guess we'd better get Friday. I think I've got a better idea. Why I Belong at Monster High, a voltageous video essay by Mr. Rotter's decomposition class. Photobomb! Why do I belong at Monster High? Well, when I was the new ghoul at school, everyone made me feel like I belonged. And before long, I had more best friends than I could shake an arm at. Oh, Frankie! Oh, I'm Batik Laro from Costa Rica. I belong at Monster High because I'm surrounded by students who care about making the world a better place. I'm Isi. I belong here because everyone accepts me and the way that I express myself. Hola! Soy Mari Coxie. I was taught that there is only one type of beauty, big feet. But Monster High showed me that there are so many biggy, fabulous types of beauty. <laughs> Back in Rotland, I got a hard time from my family for my love of being on cameras. But here, I'm allowed to be myself. I belong at Monster High because no matter what, you always feel welcomed, even if you've been a teensy bit mean. Gory. Okay, a lot a bit mean. Sheesh. I'm Trollhammer530. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Kirsty. I used to be homeschooled with my three brothers. They were bigger than me and made it so that nobody really noticed me or my talents. I belong at Monster High because here I do get noticed. I win! I'm Harper, and I like to collect, um, shiny things. I, oh, I was so sure that everybody was going to laugh at me. I belong at Monster High because they didn't. Ryder here. I belong at Monster High because they get me. If I set my mind to it, I can do anything. <laughs> Why do we belong at Monster High? Because every monster is welcome. Freaky Paws and all. A's. A's for everyone! Yeah, everyone! <laughs> Oh.
Welcome, ghouls and monsters, to the greatest show on earth. Prepare for magic, mimes, and marionettes. Dangers high and low. Now, meet your ringmaster, the newest ghoul at the freakiest school, Goliope Jellington. Welcome to Freak to Sheep. A festival of freaky flaws. The night of Freak to Chic is still young, and everything is riding on this show. But first, let's do that thing where I back things up a bit. It all started two days ago, when we were first introduced to the school's grouchy accountant. Mr. Grunderson, what brings you up here from your little accounting hole? This wasteful school is running out of money. We must cut some programs. What do you suggest? The arts programs. Wasting time and money. No. No more painting, no more music, and especially no more theater. The arts are just as important as learning dead languages and clockulous equations. I won't allow it. The Board of Education has already given me total authority to make any money-saving cuts I see fit. <laughs> Attention, students! Start boxing up your fate brushes and xylophones. As of this moment, the arts classes at Monster High are Cancelled! We were about to discover Monster High's newest arrival. I don't care what that troll Mr. Grunderson says. I want to save those classes. What if there was some way we could save the art programs, like a fundraiser? Ew! What's this positive, flowery feeling I'm having inside? I think it means you agree with Frankie. I don't like it. Maybe there's something here that can help us. Creeperific! What's happening? Who's there? I'm sorry. That happens when I get nervous. <gasps> my name is Goliope Jellington. Hey! You found my trunk! Uh, just what I was looking for! You are a circus ghoul! <laughs> All my life. My family was famous for our traveling show, Freak Du Chic, a festival of freaky flaws. But now that I found my trunk, I can get back to doing what I love. The freak show must go on. I just had a voltageous idea. If we put on our own Freak Du Chic show, we could use the ticket sales to save Monster High's art classes. I could help, right? <laughs> yes. I have a knack for making costumes, sets, all the stuff you ghouls will need to put on a freaky, fabulous fundraiser. A lot of work to do. Oh, no. 